Welcome, and thank you for joining for another Whiskey Review. Today, we're going to take a look at the Glen Goyne 25-year. New packaging. Yeah. New batch, Dustin. Glen Goyne 25 comes in at 48% ABV. One of our favorite whiskeys, cherry whiskeys, Dustin. Comes in a nice new packaging. Ooh, this is better than the old one. Yeah, much nicer packaging, and it, it doesn't do like that weird like cardboard box with a wooden box inside, and then... Yeah, the old one gave the whiskey, if you left it in the box too much, like a, a very much like a varnish smell to it. Yeah, well, did you notice is... it in the box there, Mike? You got a booklet. Yeah, you got a booklet. Awesome. Then you have... A little disc. Yeah, and the disc, and there's a little like piece here with the date, and for, if you pull out the piece, it screws into the disc, but why? I think maybe to put it here, but who knows. Yeah, if any of you guys know exactly what Glenn Going was thinking with that, please let us know. And Mike... I should point out, this was called a bespoke box by uh, Glenn Going. So. Well, it's a nice box. It's an improvement on the other box. It's just one of the nicer boxes I've seen lately. Again, 48% ABV from everything we've been able to read. Just a different, um, different batch compared to the 2014 that we've already bought you. Uh, if you guys want to see a comparison of this brand new one compared to one of the old Glenn Going 25s, let me know. We can certainly do that. Yeah, now I, I did notice on the website, Mike, they have changed their wording from, I believe in the past, the 25 said exclusively um, fin or exclusively matured in first fill European oak. This one now says mostly. So maybe they, you know, the oak levels are too high. They put in some, some refill casks. I'm expecting this to be a little more candied as a result and a little less oak bitter. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, as you know, shared whiskeys go, 25, 30 years, it can get very, very dicey as far as it being over oaked. Um, I will say, I think this is fairly consistent with the color of the older 25s, yeah. maybe a twinge lighter. I think they're using the, this one is a UK bottling. So this is the, the same bottle they use for the 30. So it's a little shorter and a little it wider. Is, it so is short. It's shorter. hard to compare color to those two because <laughs> of that. That's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. It, nice, it is uh, I really like the little cork topper here, too. I oh, like nice. the whole packaging yeah. change. I do. I mean, as long as the whiskey is just as good. Or... Yeah, and the price on these went uh, they went up, but they didn't get terrible. They're about they're, they're just under 400 now, Mike. And they were like, what, 325 before? 329 I think, is what I picked a few yeah, of for. 330-ish. Yeah, plus shipping. So, it's... Yeah, so they went up about 70 bucks. Almost. Hey, man. Everything's gone up last couple of years. Yeah. No matter where you are. And hey, you got you at least you get a nicer box, I guess, if the whiskey still is good. It, we're going to keep recommending it. Yeah, so bottom line is for a 25-year-old cherry, cherry matured whiskey at 48%, mm -hmm. it's still... There's not still, a lot of options. Yeah, it's, it's still a good deal. All right, let's get to it, Dustin. Wow, it's just straight candy plums. Yep. Just good, good old... Chocolate and raisins. Yeah, mature oak, slight grapiness, as I always like to get on these old cherry whiskeys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it, it's not super complex. It's doing what you expect from a first fill European sherry cast to mm -hmm. mostly do. You're right. Not a lot going on other than what you'd expect. Just beautiful, nice oak. Nice, rich sherry. Yeah, the Glen Going Malt's not particularly flavorful. Exciting. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot. You know, people, of course, will inevitably compare the same Macallan 25, you know, mm -hmm. and something that is, you know, five times the price. Five, six, seven times the price. And mm -hmm. it's, it's a higher ABV for sure, but it lacks something, you know, to be like really popping whiskey like that. Now, I'm not saying that this is a Glenn Farkless 25. Oh, God, no. Um, <clears throat> but, it, you know, it, it what it does is it really settles on... Exactly what it should. An older, shared, matured whiskey and a nice ABV, just done right. And you're right, you get those nice sherry flavors, mm -hmm. those nice oak flavors. And it keeps it simple and is very direct with its delivery. Yeah. But I don't know if it needs to be overly complicated. And, you know, I think that's I think that's the point is, and I mean, that's what McAllen does, too. McAllen's not trying for a complicated, complex whiskey. They just have good sherry casks. Boring malt that, you know, is very malleable to the sherry casks. And, uh, you know, they unfortunately water their whiskey to 43, and these guys keep it at 48. So you're, you know, a little small, subtle difference there. Yeah, but there's just a, a type of quality that you know you're getting with a quarter of a century of maturation mm -hmm. in any oak. But when it's sherry oak especially, and when they say mostly first fill, that's at least 50% to me. I mean, I, 
I'm betting this is 75 plus. I mean, you look at the color on this, uh, nosing it, and then just knowing Glenn going, you know, they're fairly transparent with what they're doing. You know, they're not one of these distilleries that's trying to BS you on the marketing. You know, they're, they're improved their packaging. The whole line now looks much, much sharper, I think. But really, their focus is just, look, guys, here's what we did. It's approachable. It's well done, we think, for what it is. Solid value. Yeah. And, you know, we don't price it at ridiculous numbers. <clears throat> yeah. Now, what I said, for a 25-year-old shared cast whiskey at 425, or excuse me, at 48% ABV, it is absolutely hitting all the price points for paying a, for four or four hundred fifty dollar whiskey, but is the actual experience yeah four hundred fifty dollar whiskey? Well, I should say I, I paid under under four hundred on this. Now oh. there's shipping, so you know. But okay, so four hundred is a four hundred dollar whiskey yeah. though. On the nose is extremely it's extremely straightforward, but it's still good. You know what I think to myself every time I drink this whiskey is Balvenie fifteen year old single barrel mm-hmm. sherry cask. Is it a better nose? Yeah. How much better? I don't know. Palate though. Oh, man. So I do think this is slightly sweeter than the last Doug going 25. It's all there. Chocolate, vanilla, fruits, figs, raisins, good oak notes. Just a little bit of molasses. Nothing offensive here. Like, the oak has definitely not reached the point. And I think that was why they've uh, gone with uh, mostly. First of all, I do think they use some... Refilled ones to keep the oak levels at, at bay. Because there's nice oak here. There's no elements of bad off-putting oak. Nope. Which is what happened on the 30 years. You started to get some slightly better oak notes that Sorry, a little bitter. maybe weren't necessary. No, I mean, it's, mm. it's almost milk chocolate sashaying into cocoa. Mm-hmm. It is a beautiful chocolate note on this. Mm-hmm. Um, right when I first swallowed, great. Mm-hmm. You know, like a really a nice little quick cherry punch. Mm. And then quickly, Long finish too. Yeah, quickly dissipated and mm. just sashayed into silky milk and co- milk chocolate and cocoa. Mm. Still such a rewarding whiskey to drink. Yeah, I I wouldn't say it. You know, when I mentioned the Balvenie fifteen before, I wouldn't say it was a far superior whiskey on the nose. I would say it's a far superior whiskey on the palate. Yeah, I mean, I think that's where this whiskey really just mm. excels. Is that it's just, but again, this is just put together so well. You know, this is like a the, this is your perfect sports car, Mike. Okay. Like you know, <clears throat> it didn't need the back seat. Nope. It doesn't need the massaging leather chair. It, mm. might, it might have a nice leather, maybe it doesn't. It, but it's got a really well made seat. It's got a nice steering wheel. It gives you a good feel. But it's all about the engine. It's all about the handling. It's all about the turns. You know, the, the backup cam. That's great if it has it. If it doesn't, who cares? You know, you know, all those frills aren't necessary. It just does. It has a limited purpose that it's exceptional at doing. <clears throat> it's bang for your buck if you're going for a certain profile. Yeah. And that profile is very um, appealing to a lot of single malt scotch drinks. Yeah. Lovely whiskey. Just a, Lovely yeah. whiskey. If you want a 25-year-old sherry whiskey, I think this is absolutely the best option you have right now. <clears throat> McAllen's going to cost you five times more. Oh, it's, it's not feasible for most people. And it's going to be... Thin, watery, comparatively. No, yeah, it, it it's definitely rich. I've turned multiple people onto this whiskey, and two mm-hmm. of them who are hardcore bourbon people, man, they really, really enjoy mm-hmm. this whiskey. Um, and guys who know good bourbons. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I, again, I, I think a lot of people would enjoy this whiskey. It's an excellent whiskey. Yeah. I mean, you know, Glendronic doesn't have a 25-year-old. This is better than the 21. It's, and they, they're going to chill filtering, so unless you're finding a single cast from them now, there's really nothing to buy. Yeah, me and Keith um, were at... Uh, to a single cast, had the, the 20 that was a stunner and the uh, 27 year old, both PXs. And we had it, uh, mm-hmm. had this right after him. <clears throat> I mean, maybe the 27 was as good of a whiskey, mm-hmm. maybe not. I mean, it was in rare company, rare company and performed very well. Yeah, all right. So, with water, nose didn't change for me really, Mike. I went and gave it a little bit of a once over, pretty much the same thing, same mm-hmm. berries, fruits, darkness, chocolate. Mm-hmm. Uh, palette, I am getting a Twinge more oak, a little bit of, maybe a little bit of bitter. Mm-hmm. Nothing, um, nothing too offensive. Still delicious. Again, I, I still stick with uh, this. Is probably better neat, like most whiskeys. Agreed for me. Mm-hmm. Um, it's still really nice, really well done. I just, I mean, again, this is just, this is as good as a sherry whiskey gets. If you're not trying to get something else, you just want good <clears throat> sherry. You want it approachable, drinkable. It just hits all. Yeah. Everything. No, I mean, again, if someone in your life likes a shared whiskey and, and you want to buy them a special bottle, mm-hmm. 
Absolutely go for this one. They'll love it. That's yeah. the main thing. But it's a really nice whiskey, too. It has a beautiful presentation. Yeah, there's no risk on this one, either. <clears throat> no, I mean, like, you, you'll like it. Like, Cavalon, it might be too hot. No, you will. This, 48% is going to drink well for anybody. If they like any shared whiskeys, they will really appreciate this whiskey. This is a great whiskey. Yeah, and now, you know, think about it. The box now really does give this a gift-level presentation, which maybe in the past, a little yep. less there. Well, it was still a gift. It was a little clumsy to open it. <clears throat> well, and it just, just didn't look as... I mean, this looks like a gift. I mean, this looks like they're really oh, brought for sure. out something nice. Whereas before, it was just, okay, that's fine. Yeah, for sure. All right, so yeah, we have both versions of this. So if you guys want to let us know if we wanted to uh, do a comparison. Um, Justin, what are you at as far as a whiskey score on this one? You know, I wish I knew exactly what I gave the Glen going 25 in the past, or yeah, even if we did that. Mm-hmm. But uh, actually, I think you did it. I don't think I was on that one. So mm-hmm. I, I'm going to go with the 90 on this one, mm-hmm. and it could be a 91, but... I'm going to go 90 just because I really wish it did one more thing for me to help it get that 91. But, man, just it's great. It's excellent. And 90 is very good score. Yeah. I completely agree with you. Mm-hmm. Um, there, it does everything you want it to do. Mm-hmm. Good old whiskey. Um, really, really a, a standard as far as what a 90 score should be. I'm right there with you. And I do not go above 90 for the same reasons. It doesn't do anything magic. Mm-mm. It you know nothing here is like wow this is not what I expected out of a twenty five year old forty eight percent sherry cask mostly mostly first of all sherry cask yeah. whiskey this is exactly what it should be mm-hmm. and priced about what it should be mm-hmm. so again bang for your buck this is a really good whiskey you know just like this like my car I just bought yeah it is not a lot extra but for what it is yeah it's a beast again it's like a sports car muscle car. You know, a fat man's uh, sports car. We got an LT1 Camaro, 455 horsepower and <laughs> torque. Goes bang. But anyway, you know, I agree. This is a total 90. Doesn't do anything magic, but just does everything really, really, really well. You get exactly what you pay for in this whiskey. It feels like 48% ABV. It feels like 25-year-old whiskey. It feels like decent sherry cast mm-hmm. and a relatively boring spirit. Yeah. But at least it gets out of the way. Uh, yeah, that's the beautiful. At least doesn't yeah. ruin it. I'll get you know what I mean? I mean, sometimes that's what you want is a it's... spirit that, you know what? You're not the show here today. We're going to show off these nice sherry casks. Mm-hmm. You just don't f anything up. Right. Don't don't get in the way. Don't mess it up. Don't get in the way. And I, I'm that way with Glenn Farkless. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I want it. I want just to get out of the way. Good sherry cask maturation. This knows what it is. This yeah. knows its place. Glenn Farkless. I want to taste one thing, and that is on the finish. I want a little of that coal. A little of that coal. That's Mainly, it. I want it at Sherry Cast Whiskey. But again, yep. this whiskey feels like age, price, ABV. It knows exactly who it is, and it mm-hmm. knows its place in the market. Yeah. It's good whiskey. Yeah. Per- perfect 90. Perfect 90 whiskey. Yeah. All right. If you guys had a chance to try this one, let us know what you think. If you had a chance to try the older one, uh, we probably will, just for fun, throw them both together and see what we think. Um, so, any opinions are welcome. That's the suffering until- we go through, Mike. Yes. <laughs> For the sake of transparency. Yeah. <laughs> if you had a chance to try these ones, uh, let us know what you guys uh, think in the comment section. That's great. And until next time, Dustin, we wish the folks. Happy drinking. We'll see you next time.